stick around. I just filmed this entire intro and then realized I had so much lipstick on my teeth so I'm sitting down and refilming it. In today's video I am showing you guys my whole in-depth makeup collection because I have revamped everything. I have a whole new setup, a whole new vanity, so much new makeup to show you since I filmed the last one because it's been a couple years. And I'm so excited to show you guys my new setup because I am loving it. It is everything I needed and more. If you haven't already please hit that subscribe button right down below and and click the little bell to turn on my post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Don't forget to check out my social media accounts. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have a whole bunch more that is linked down below in the description box so you guys can chat with me and see more of me and get to know my life. <laughs> also, this video is not to brag about everything that I have and show it all off. I really just wanted to show you guys my new setup because I am loving it and you guys love when I show you all of my stuff and I love watching these videos so that is the reason I'm making this video today but if you guys want to see the whole collection and all of my new stuff go ahead and keep watching so from a far away kind of an overview this is what my makeup collection looks like on the right side here this is one of the Alex drawers by Ikea this is the nine drawer I believe so this one is the super tall one that goes all the way down across the right and then on the left here my actual vanity setup is just two of the Alex five drawers with an Ikea tabletop on on top of that and that is how I've been organizing my makeup lately and I am obsessed with this new setup. Most of this is actually empty since I've transferred most of this into the smaller drawers in my actual vanity. I try to keep pretty much everything in there so that I don't have to reach over here but it does give me a lot of extra storage and this is what I kept my makeup in before I got the smaller drawers so that's why I have this and it gives me room to expand so I wanted to keep it because it is like a nice piece of furniture so this is a quick overview of what the top of my vanity looks like this is where I keep all of my makeup brushes my everyday most used makeup and skincare products so I have these little drawers here these are from the container store and these are just stackable so they come in sets of two like this and then you just stack them on top of each other. On top I have a Real Techniques makeup sponge, my Sleepy Body Lotion by Lush. I have two of the Sigma Kabuki brushes and then my two setting sprays. This is the Urban Decay Chill setting spray and the Urban Decay Quick Fix priming spray and then on top I have a few of my palettes that are my most used right now this little container holder thing came from Office Depot actually but I know you can also find these at home goods as well they're just little file holders but they're great for holding makeup palettes here I have the Jaclyn Hill morphe palette which is one of my absolute favorites right now I am loving this palette so much I also have my Morphe 350 palette which I also just recently got and I'm loving this for the fall time. It is so so pretty. This is what the colors look like. They are so fall. I'm obsessed with this palette right now so that is another one I'm loving. And then right here I have the Lorac Pro 1 and 3. These are really pretty for fall also. So I really like these palettes and these are just kind of ones that I've been grabbing lately. Diving into the drawers here. This one just has all of my everyday most used face products. So here I have the Bare Minerals Primetime Brightening Primer, my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer, Ready Set Gorgeous, LA Pro Girl Concealer, which I've started contouring with. This is a Bare Minerals Foundation, and then this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. So those are just kind of my every single day most used ones. The one right underneath has two bronzers, a blush, and a highlighter that are my absolute favorite. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Another one of my absolute favorites, which I actually like even more, is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Such a natural color. It goes with my skin tone so well, and I really like this one. The Benefit California Blush is also super, super pretty. This one is a hot pink kind of corally color. It has a 
golden sun in the middle. It's so pretty. I love it. And then this is my Becca highlighter in the color Pearl. And this is just a really, really pretty highlighter that I love to use. So that is where I keep my four most used bronzers, blush, and highlighters. So these are kind of my most reached for products. I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have a NYX eyeliner here. This is a black eyeliner and the NYX Wonder Pencil. And also the NYX Jumbo Pencil pencil in milk. My current mascara, this is the Clinic High Impact Mascara. This is the Benefit Cabral, which I just, just recently started using. I've only used it once and I loved it. So I'm really, really liking this one right now. This is a Sigma Brow Powder Duo. And then this is just a random eyebrow pencil I got in an Ipsy bag. I don't know what this is. And then I also keep my tweezers and my eyelash curler in here as well. This drawer has a Tarte foundation. So this is a false one that I just recently purchased um, because mine's going to be gone soon. And this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It's a sample I got from Ulta. I got two of these. I already used one of them and I am in love. So I will probably be purchasing this foundation very soon. And then the one next to it here is empty. So again, I still have a lot of room to expand and grow. And then the top drawer here, I keep my lip products. So I definitely have have a lot of lip products that I love and adore. My two favorite lipsticks right now are by Mello. I've used these in a lot of my videos recently, so if you've watched those, you probably know. This one is in the color Posh, and the other one is in Nude, and both of these I got in an Ipsy bag and love. Most of my lip products are NYX. This is the NYX Turned Up lip Lipstick, which is really, really pretty. I have a couple of the NYX um, Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. My favorite lip liner right now is the Rimmel mauve shimmer lip pe lip pencil this I have not tried yet. I just got it yesterday. This is the NYX Love Out Loud. This is cream lipstick and I'm so excited to use this. This is in the color LOL. I am so excited to use this. It is so pretty. And then these are all of my NYX butter glosses um, that are more fall colors. These are just kind of all my butter glosses that are more nude and more acceptable for the fall. So that is everything in the little drawers on top of my vanity where I just kind of keep the most used makeup and then all the rest of my makeup is in all of my drawers. On the left side here, I just have these cute little flowers from Home Goods. That's just kind of a little, little like decorative piece. And then right now I am burning a fall candle. This is Sweater Weather from Bath and Body Works. And then up here I have all of my makeup brushes. So if you guys have watched any of my previous makeup collections, you would know that I had a big black pampered chef thing for all of my makeup brushes. And I will link all of my old makeup collections down below if you guys want to look at the difference between now and then. But I recently got these little bins at Ikea and I had no idea what what to do with them and then I thought they would be perfect for all of my makeup brushes and they look so cute here on my desk. So in the one on the right I have all of my face brushes and then on the left I have all of my eye brushes. So if we kind of just take a look at all of my different brushes, I have a lot from Sigma. Almost all of my brushes are from Sigma because that's just my favorite makeup brush brand. But I also do have a few from Crown Brush and these ones are Bare Minerals in here. I also have a few random brushes in here, I believe from, these ones are by the brand Mikasa. I partnered with them a really long time ago on their makeup brushes and I really like them. So I will leave that video link down below as well if you guys want to check out those brushes. These are all of my eye makeup brushes. These are kind of a huge range. Most of these again are Sigma because they're my favorite ones. But I do have like a couple Sonia Kashuk. The ones with the pink handles came in Ipsy bags. Ipsy is my favorite thing in the world. I have talked about it so much in this video so I will leave a link below to that as well. So that is all of my makeup brushes. Moving over to the right side of my little makeup drawers, I just keep all of my skincare products here. This here is my Clinique toner. I keep my contact solution that I'm using right now here, my Clinique moisturizer, my hemp lotion, this is hand lotion. I have a Mary Kay eye makeup remover, some Zit cream, a lip balm, and then my contacts, and another strawberry lip balm here. 
And then my makeup mirror, which is currently the light of this video because obviously the lighting has changed. But I recently got a new makeup mirror just a couple of weeks ago and this is actually from Costco. I used to have a Conair one that I really liked, but th that one wasn't LED. So I recently got this one from Costco and it was really cheap. If I can find a link to it still, I will put it down below. I'm not sure if they still have it. So that is pretty much an overview of what the top of my vanity looks like. Again, this is the IKEA tabletop here, but I did have a custom piece of glass made to fit this, so this is glass on top. So I feel like it looks cleaner, it gives it a shine, and it's so much easier to clean because these IKEA drawers, once they get dirty, they're so hard to clean, so I knew the top would be the same way. So I didn't use it until I put the glass on top, and I think it just totally completes this look and makes it look so much nicer. So now that we've covered everything on top of my vanity, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my drawers here. So these drawers here are all empty and then this drawer here just has a whole bunch of different samples in it. So basically there's just a whole bunch of different makeup samples in this drawer. It's not very organized, but I always get random samples from orders. And then actually in the drawer above that, I actually keep things that are new and I haven't gotten into yet. So I have my Chi 44 Iron Guard, Moroccan Oil, I have a few makeup wipes that I have yet to open, and then also my PMD is in here, which I have a full video on. I will link it down below if you guys want to see that. This drawer just has a whole bunch of EOS lip balms in it. I've collected so many EOS lip balms, so they all just kind of sit in this drawer here. In this drawer, I keep most of my hair tools, so curling iron, straightening irons, and then also my It's a 10 hairspray, which is my favorite hairspray in the entire world. I love it. In the next drawer down, I keep less used hair tools, like my blow dryer or my less used curling irons, my crimper, things that I don't use on an every single day basis. And then this one has all of my hair products in it, so everything pretty much but hairspray is in this drawer. I use a lot of different hair products, so if you guys want to see an updated hair care routine, I can definitely do that for you. And last but not least, in the very bottom here, I just keep cotton balls, Q-tips, and makeup wipes. So now that you've seen pretty much everything in this dresser, I'm going to move on to the drawers here. So this side is where the majority of my actual makeup is. So in the top drawer, I keep most of my face products. So starting off on the right here, this is where I just keep a random assortment of products. So I have Benefit Professional, I have Bare Minerals Prime Time, Smashbox Little Mini Primer, and just some random primers. Here I have two different Naked Cosmetics powders. This one is translucent and this one is the Banana Powder. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, which I really love, and then a Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. Here I have the foundation that I used to use, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. I have an extra CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and a couple of the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealers. I have a new Bare Minerals foundation for when mine runs out. And underneath is a BH Cosmetics Concealer palette that I received as a gift and haven't really tried much. Back here I have a couple mini powders and then I have Benefits Erase Paste here and then back here is where I keep mostly products that are too dark for my skin tone that I will use when I'm self tanned or during the summertime. Here I have an extra Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I like to keep extra products of my most used products when mine start to get a little bit low so that I will have a backup. But then under here I have a couple different Bare Minerals foundations in a couple different colors. And it Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, which I love. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. An Urban Decay Tinted Moisturizer. Just a couple of random different things. So that is my face drawer. And I also didn't mention all of these little acrylics are from the container store. And then I just have a clear insert in each drawer so that these don't move and slide all around. In this drawer, I keep all of my face products. So this is blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Starting here on the right side, I have a couple little miniature trios that I've received in Ipsy bags or different things. This is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It's a really, really, really pretty highlighter. This is Benefits Fine 1-1, which is a blush 
and highlighter. It just rolls up like this and it's really pretty. I really like this for a cream product. And then below this I keep my Naked Flushed palette which again is kind of a trio. So here I have all of my Too Faced products pretty much. So these are all little mini samples of Too Faced bronzers. This one is Sun Bunny. I have a couple of the Milk Chocolate Soleils and then one Chocolate Soleil. And then this is also a Chocolate Soleil which is a really great bronzer. I actually have the full size of it in my drawers on top of my vanity. But I have a whole bunch of little samples I've collected. I just have a couple random little highlighters. I have a Benefit High Beam, a Benefit Sun beam and a benefit what's up these are all kind of little mini things I always get minis for samples or for gifts or different things I have so many little miniature products in my collection here I have a bare minerals mineralized bronzer in the color warmth and then below that I have a Tarte bronzer which I really like this is again a miniature size I really really like this one a lot this is the Park Ave princess Amazonian clay bronzer, which I really like. This here is a product I got in my Ipsy bag. This is the Pacifica Coconut Blush. I have my Naked Illuminated Highlighter, which if you guys have watched me for a long time, you know I love, love, love this product. It's like a giant ball of shimmer and it's so pretty. I just love this so much. Here I have a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but this is the illuminating one. This is another thing I got in my Ipsy bag. This is Pixie by Petra. It's a little like blush highlighter duo. Uh, again, an Ipsy bag product. This is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And then I also have Warm Soul Mineralized Blush by MAC. Moving over here on this side, this is where I keep a couple of my Benefit boxed blushes. So this here is Bella Bomba, which is such a pretty pink color. I have Coralista, which is a really pretty coral, and Rockateur, which is a really great mauve fall blush. Here I keep two NYX blushes, my absolute favorite NYX blushes that they don't actually make anymore, at least in this packaging. This one is in the color Pinched, which is my absolute favorite, and then I also have Summer Peach. Here again I have a couple mini, I have Benetint and Posy Tint by Benefit. I have a Milani Baked Blush in the color Coralina. I have a Bare Minerals Blush here, the Benefit Majorette Blush, which is actually a cream blush. I haven't used this one much if you can tell. And then I have a couple just Elizabeth Mott, NYX, just a couple random blushes in there. So that is my blush bronzers and highlighters. In this drawer I like to keep all of my single eyeshadows, pigments, and shimmers. Pretty much this entire acrylic right here are things I've collected in Ipsy bags. This is a really pretty Pacifica eyeshadow set. I have a Hikari cream pigment, Ofra, um, a NYX blush by Ipsy, just a whole bunch of random things. This is a Pop Beauty trio. So a lot of different eyeshadows I've gotten in Ipsy bags. Here I keep all of my single eyeshadows that I know and love that I've purchased. I have Stila Kitten, I have a few different NYX eyeshadows, some MAC single eyeshadows, a couple of the Bare Minerals ones, so kind of just a random assortment here. And then on the right I keep all of my shimmers. So I have a lot of these NYX roller shimmers. I really like these ones. These ones are really pretty. I have a Naked Cosmetics. These ones are hip pigments, which I don't even know if they make these anymore. Some of my makeup is too old and I should probably get rid of it. And then a couple random ones I've received in Ipsy, like this Marks one. I've not really heard of that brand before, but I've received them in Ipsy, so those are all my shimmers and single eyeshadows. In this drawer, I keep all of my eyeliners, creams, primers for my eyes, just kind of like eyebrow products, a whole random assortment of things, mascaras. On this side, I have a few of the Maybelline cream eyeshadows, a Revlon stick. I have a Lorac eye primer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a couple of the Urban Decay primers in different colors. This is kind of all primers and creams along this side. Here I keep a bunch of mascaras and these are also liquid eyeliners. So I have Smashbox Full Exposure. I have my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, this is a nano liner. Most of my liquid eyeliners come from Ipsy bags because I don't typically buy liquid eyeliner much. Here are all of my eyeliner pencils and eyebrow gels and things. So I have a lot of different eyeliner 
pencils from a lot of different brands. I have NYX, I have Bare Minerals, I have a bunch from Ipsy, Urban Decay, NYX, a whole kind of like random assortment of eyeliners here. Here I have eyebrow pencils, so I have Essence Make Me Brow Gel, I have a Mary Kay eyebrow pencil. This is a brow wax by Sigma that I really like, and then these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gels. And then here I have my Anastasia Dip Brow, and I also have a MAC Gel Eyeliner. So that is pretty much it for this store, just kind of random brow products, eyeliners, mascaras, and primers. And then in this store, I keep all of my lip products. The first thing kind of in the way here is the KKW by Kylie Cosmetics. I have this in the box still because I think the packaging is so pretty. These are all cream liquid lipsticks in these really pretty nude colors. And again, I just keep it in the packaging just because I think it is so pretty. Right here, I keep a few random lipsticks. I have a couple of NYX butter lipsticks, Maybelline lipsticks, a MAC lipstick, just kind of a few random ones here. I have my most favorite EOS lip balms here and then also a little lip sample I got in an Ipsy bag. Up here I keep liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, kind of like longer things. I have a NYX lingerie liquid lipstick which I really love. This is another one of those I believe. I have a chubby stick by Clinique. And then I have a few random lip pencils right over here. And then back here in this one, I keep little miniature, little lip glosses and things. I don't dive into these too often, but they're nice to have on hand. Back here, I try to keep everything nice and standing up, but it doesn't always work out that way. These are all of my NYX Butter Glosses that are summery colors. All of my more nude ones are up on top of my vanity. And then these are just a few other random NYX products that I have. I really like NYX lip products. These NYX Intense butter glosses are really pretty. I have a couple random matte lip creams and different things like that. Again, these kind of fall all over since they're not very full. These ones stay nice and tight right here. And then this here is a little random NYX whip topping. I got this in an Ipsy bag and it is such a bright color. I don't even know how to wear it. But that is my lip drawer. So over on the left here, most of this is skincare and hair stuff, but I also have um, makeup palettes on this side. This top drawer is not very organized. It was a whole lot more organized when I very first did this drawer. But this drawer has all of my clips, bobby pins, scrunchies, headbands, hair ties. Also a few different random face masks in here. A whole assortment of random skin products I've received in Ipsy bags and hair products. And then back here I keep an extra beauty sponge, pre-heels, a few just kind of random things in this drawer. The next drawer down is fake lashes, tools, an extra chill makeup setting spray. Um, so these are my eyelashes, glues, which again, I don't have a lot of eyelashes right now because I do have eyelash extensions. Um, and then these are kind of like fingernail clippers, eyelash curlers, scissors for cutting my eyebrows, tweezers, extra things like that. This drawer is to be what I consider the most exciting drawer in my collection. This is all of my makeup palettes, which I have so many of. This is a deeper drawer and it's almost full, so that's so crazy. I feel like the one that stands out the most is my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. This one is so pretty. It's so like warm toned. It's really pretty for the fall. My Too Faced Peach palette is another really great one. It's pretty full of like everyday eyeshadow looks. I have my Urban Decay Naked 3, Urban Decay Naked 2, Urban Decay Naked, Urban Decay Naked Smoky, if I can get it out. I have a naked, this is a face palette actually. It's like full of highlighters, but this is the only drawer it fits in. Urban Decay Vice 2. I have another Urban Decay Vice Limited palette. This is also Urban Decay. This is the Unlimited Basics. This one is so pretty. I really like this one. I have the Naked 1 Basics and then the Naked 2 Basics is in here somewhere right here. Lorac, this is really pretty. I have the Lorac Pro palette. I have the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, Lorac Mega Pro 3 Palette, lots of lots and lots of palettes. A lot of little miniature ones. This is Lorac Love Lust and Lace. This one is by Lorac again. This one's really pretty. 
I have the Too Faced Natural Eye and the Too Faced Natural at Night palette. This is a Smashbox Shape Matters palette. I have the Beach Cosmetics 120 Eye Color palette. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. There's a Co Coastal Scents a Blush palette. My Sedona Lace palette. And then there's another Coastal Scents one back there. This drawer just has random like skincare products, my eyeglass cleaner, contact solution, eye drops, contacts. I have a random brush shampoo over there. This is my ear piercing solution for when I got my cartilage pierced, vitamin E oil, and this is an aloe vera cream. So just kind of some random things in there. And then the bottom drawer on this side is empty. So more room to expand and grow. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. One thing I forgot to mention in the video is the stool, the actual chair that I sit on. So I have a little stool sort of thing that I got from Home Goods, and it's like a little spinny chair and I will leave like a little clip of what it looks like here. But I got it from Home Goods, so I don't think I'll be able to link it down below. Um, but it's just great. It's super soft. It's super cute. And that is what I use to sit on in my videos and while I do my makeup obviously I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video I will try to link everything down below my setup everything from Ikea if I can find it all I will link it down below so you guys can check everything out if you're interested in doing the same sort of thing it is a really popular makeup setup I did not invent this I obviously have found it from a lot of other people and just bought the things and put it all together. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I think I've said that like four times already, but I hope you guys liked seeing all of my makeup, all my new stuff, my new setup. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. And then this is a concealer palette from Beach Cosmetics that I haven't really dove in, dove in, dove, dove into. This is a really pretty. This is a really pretty Pacifica blush kind of. This is a really pretty Pacifica eyeshadow set. I have back here. I keep single eyeshadows, a few NYX blushes. Here I keep all of my single eyeshadows. Here I keep all of my single eyeshadows that I've purchased and used. Here I keep all of my single eyeshadows that I know and love. Here I keep all of my single eyeshadows that I know and love that I've purchased. I have an Essence make. This one is such a such. This one is lingerie, liquid lips. Gosh, why are you not focusing? And then here I have my Anastasia. I don't know how I had everything in here so nice. Gosh, no. Why are we not in focus? I'm so annoyed. Which is upside down. So I have pretty much. which my drawer is coming out here. It's shape mop. This is, a, this drawer has, this So I have these little drawers here. So I have these little drawers here.